What's up, guys? Harris here. I'm making a second video. I'm making a uh, new video. I started a new channel. I mean, uh, basically transferred some of my videos over to this channel. I only have two up, though, so far. Just wanted to start from the top, start fresh. Um, but I said I would make a video about this book, The Success System That Never Fails by W. Clement Stone. It's one of the ten books that Dan Locke, famous entrepreneur, suggested that every future millionaire should read, right? And so, in the book... He talks about his sales career pretty much through the whole book, but he references his success system that never fails throughout the entire book, and there's three parts to it. I'm going to cover it, all right? So part one, right? The first thing that you need to be successful at anything, right, is what he calls inspiration to action. That means taking what, what inspires you to act, right? So I'm going to use tennis. I'm going to refer, refer to tennis for this video to explain uh, a subject that somebody might want to be successful at, right? So first thing is inspiration to action. And that might entail learning from the greats, wanting to take action because you have a hero that plays tennis and you know that it would be, you're, you're inspired and you want to learn tennis. Uh, you know, it's just, it's something that you really want to accomplish and it, you're inspired, right? So the first thing, you need inspiration at whatever it is. It has to come from deep within, right? Uh, if you're not inspired, it's not going to last long, right? And you're not going to have persistence. Step two is what he calls activity knowledge. Activity knowledge is um, having knowledge about the theory of the subject, so it's not just, uh, so or it has to do with understanding the strategy, the theory, and the way that you acquire activity knowledge. It's, you can, books, videos, mentors, coaches, uh, the rule book, understanding the rule book, understanding how the game is played, understanding how, you know, whatever it is you're trying to learn, the ins and outs of it, right? The theory, right? But the third thing that you need in the success system that never fails is called know how. Know-how is the experience. The only way that you can acquire know-how is from acting and failing and trying and actually getting out there and doing it, being successful, going through the motions, you know, seeing the trials, tribulations, the failures. So in tennis, activity knowledge would be like, like I said, learning from coaches and mentors, studying the rule book, studying the game, studying the history of the game. That's activity knowledge. Know how is actually the practice being on the court, swinging the racket yourself, right? You need to have plenty of experience of that. So, if you think back to anything that you were successful at in life, you probably had a relatively good degree of all three, right? If you were a good student, you were inspired to get good grades for some reason. Maybe it was your parents, you knew they, they would like punish you or something like that, they would kick your ass or something <laughs> if uh, you weren't getting good grades, right? You had the inspiration. You also had the activity knowledge because uh, you knew how to learn. You knew uh, learning strategies, how, you know, taking note cards, uh, you know, making good use of your time, and you know how to learn, right? The know-how is having done it, having spent years and years in school perfecting your strategies of studying for tests, and it, right? So those are the three. And my point is that if you look back at anything in your life, anything that you failed at, you probably didn't have a sufficient amount of one of the three. Maybe you weren't inspired enough. Maybe you didn't understand the theory enough. Or maybe you just hadn't, didn't have enough experience, right, with the know-how. So that's a success system that never fails. It's a good book. Um, it's one of the ten books that Dan Locke recommends uh, that every future millionaire should read. That's why I ordered it. just wanted to read it and, and see what it had to say. And William Clement Stone, it was pu this book was like published in like 1962, but he talks about his career in sales. And basically talks about how uh, a positive mental attitude uh, can go a really, really long way. He says that uh, in sales, a positive uh, sales are, con are contingent on the attitude of the salesman. So it doesn't really matter about the conditions as much as if the po salesman has a positive mindset. It just goes to show how, how much mindset can be effective in your success, right? So I'm going to put the link in the description. Y'all can click on that video if you bought through that link. If uh, it supports the channel, uh, appreciate it. 
Uh, I'm not exactly sure that the direction the channel is going to go yet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make it for him. Probably gonna gonna cover mental health, uh, meditation, things that I'm trying to learn right now because I know that I learn better when I teach. Uh, and I like like I'm doing in this video, when, uh, reflecting on whatever I'm learning helps me learn it, internalize it even more. And I figure that while I'm doing those things, just reading all these books, might as well put them on YouTube, and hopefully other people can benefit from uh, what I'm learning. Right, so. Thanks.